my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another plan with me. Um, I started doing a um, spread with the Coffee Doodles Co. May Book Club kit, which looks like this. I don't know if I put this in a haul or not. Um, but this is what the kit looks like. And I started laying down some of the stickers and I was like, you know what? This is really pretty. It needs, like, look at that. Oh my gosh. It needs a plan with me of its own. So this is for the May Book Club. If you guys are not in Coffee Doodles Co. Facebook group, you should be. Um, I'll link her down below as well as a PR code to save you a percentage off. I think it's 15% off your order. You can still pick up this kit. Um, it's going away at the end of May, I believe, but you can still pick it up right now. There will be new kits every month based on book club. And this one doesn't necessarily have to be like book club specific, but if you love reading and you like the beach, then these are for you. Um, so this is the kit and it's just called May Book Club. So you can still find that up in her shop. But I decided that I wanted to do a plan with me because again, the kit is absolutely gorgeous and it deserves, it deserves some loving. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to try to keep the talking to a minimum um, because I know I did talk a lot in my last one. All the products that I'm using are the same ones that were in my last plan with me. I will have them linked down below as well. I do have my slice tool, my Tombow white out, my zebra pen. I haven't decided which pen I want to use yet. I also brought up um, my Pilot G2s that I felt like would match the kit as well as some of the Zebra Sarasa. I did get a bolder pack so I was hoping that maybe this one would match a little bit better. I might switch it up and kind of use some of the blue, some of the purple, some of the pink because I feel like those are all, um, the blue and the pink are in the kit and the purple is kind of a complementary color. I did also bring up with me my new storage system for my character stickers, um, which I'll do a video on that later, and then washi in case I want to add some, but I don't think that I'm going to this time because the kits are just phenomenal. The washi at the bottom of the kit is just phenomenal on its own. So enough of that. Let me go ahead and get started. So I already did my date covers. Um, if you guys watched the last plan with me, you know that I white out the date and then put the date covers over. These dots are from Scribble Prints Co. I do not believe that they are offered in her shop anymore, um, but she had a few multi-packs of multi-colored date dots. So I grabbed those because a lot of kits don't include the date dots, um, which is a suggestion that I wanted to bring up to Elaine just because I'd love to have coordinating colors. This one worked out perfectly, um, but I've noticed a a lot of shops stopped carrying the date covers and they don't include them in the kit anymore. So yeah. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and lay down the bottom washi and then we'll work on the sidebar. This is just so pretty and like I want to show you guys the this color palette right here if I could have any color pa palette like describe me this would be it like this whole rainbow thing going on here oh my gosh I love it so much okay I've gushed about this kit for like two weeks y'all I'm not even kidding I keep going back to Elaine and just telling her how flipping pretty the kit came out because it's gorgeous. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the sidebar. It's going to be the same thing as last week, except I'm going to change it up a little bit or my last plan with me. Sorry. I'm, so I'm going to do dinner and then I'm going to do, um, 
my normal habit trackers, but then the last one is going to be the things um, because we are going to be on the big island this weekend. It's the weekend of my birthday. We're leaving Thursday and we'll be back Monday, so this entire side of the week will be on the big island. Um, so I'm just going to write down some like things that we wanted to make sure that we did or um, things that we wanted to remember about the trip. So that's what the sidebar is going to look like this time and then I'm also going to throw up my page flags while I'm doing that. And I do this every time I forget to white out this little dot right here because it shows under the full box. So I'm just going to use my slice tool to kind of pick that up and white it out. The slice tool is really helpful for pulling stickers back up like that if you have like acrylic nails because the nails are so thick that they can't really get under the sticker without ruining it. And the slice tool has this tiny, eensy little point. I don't know if it's going to, it's not going to focus on that. It has this tiny, eensy little point that can get under there perfectly. Um, so it's definitely really good for that. top the glitter there but it's okay we're gonna roll with it I already messed it up quite a bit trying to refix it so it's not gonna bother me I know it does bother some people but it will be all right y'all so I'm just gonna go ahead and white out the asterisks to add my page flags okay now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my double box for the weekend goes along with each other. So now that I have the base of my kit done, I'm just going to go through and like I did in the last plan with me, I'm just going to add stuff that I know that we have um, and then I'll go back in and fill in the rest. If you guys watch this plan with me, you can see that I did kind of fill in some of the stuff as it came up. Um, and then I just fill it out as the week goes because it's a lot of memory keeping for me, but I do like to pre-plan in laying the kits down. Um, so that's kind of how my plan with me's for now will work is doing the pre-planning on camera. Then you'll see the, the photo of the completed kit on my Instagram. So, which again, as always, I'll link down below. So let's go ahead and add what we know. Um, there isn't a ton for this week. Um... So I'm not sure, or I know we definitely have to put in the flights. The weekend's going to be pretty bare because we are going to be on the big island. So that's going to be a lot of dead space that I'll go back in and fill afterwards. Um, just because um, I know that it's going to work out that way with having, with being um, away from home. So Thursday's going to be really busy because we fly out that night. Then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be kind of dead space because we're just kind of winging what we're doing on the big island um we're not really sticking to a set schedule so i'm going to go ahead and add that in first since i know that that is there um 
And then I need to grab a sticker for Luna because she is going to be dropped off at a um, dog sitter's house for the weekend, which... You guys, she's like my other kid. I'm kind of nervous about, like, I know that she's going to be fine. This girl comes, like, super highly recommended. But I'm just so nervous because she's never stayed with anybody else before. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so we're going to use... I'm going to go ahead and use this once more with Love Sticker. It's just um, the little munchkin with heart eyes and the doggo. Which, that's going to have to, actually, let me back up. What am I doing? So, first of all, we're probably going to have to finish packing because, knowing me, I leave everything to last minute. And that's just what's going to happen. So, we're going to have to finish packing. because that day is just going to be kind of a lot of running around, trying to get ready. Um, and we'll do this one because it's super pretty. We'll put in this little flight tracker for rum once more with love as well. I really love the the little like emoji stickers from the different shops. Once more with love. Um, the Coffee Monsters Co. is my absolute favorite. And then um, Fox and Cactus. You'll see a lot of those in all of my spreads just because I love them and I think that they're like perfect to mark stuff. And I love the different options that it kind of covers a wide variety. Like I don't always want to use like a icon you know what I mean and I love that it has the different options for like the girls and stuff um so that will mark our flight and then let's see what else we need to do there then we need to oh uh, you know I thought I had like a pick up rental I thought I had oh yeah um no, so we'll use another once more with love. Well, I don't like that she's sleeping, though, and it's not really a road trip. Hmm. All right, let's see what we want to do there. This is the dilemma with not pre-planning stuff. So we'll just use the icon from the kit that has the little car on it um, for picking up the rental car. So I'm super excited because we did get to rent a Jeep on the big island and I am absolutely obsessed with Jeeps. I watched, um, a lot of Gilmore Girls as a teenager and absolutely fell in love with Lorelai and just knew that was the kind of mom I was going to end up being. So, um, which it's kind of not, but it, at the time and, um, yeah, so I have just been obsessed with Jeeps ever since. My husband calls me his little Lorelei, which is kind of funny. Um, so I'm really excited because I've wanted a Jeep for a really long time. That was my first car. It was my first car when I joined the military and came back from Japan, um, which I eventually had to trade in because we had more kids. And then um, it's just been my dream to own one, especially living here on the island. They're really big here on the island. So... Um, I'm really excited that we get to have one on the big island for my birthday. So we're going to pick up the rental car once we get in at the airport. And then I'm going to mark my birthday on Friday. And then that's probably pretty much all I'm going to do on the weekend. Um, because like I said, we just, we don't know what we're doing yet. We want to kind of wing it, see how the kids are feeling. We're going to go to the 
um, Mauna Kea Volcanic Park, um, and I know that I'm probably not saying that right, so I apologize if I offend anybody. Um, we want to go to the Mauna Kea Volcanic Park, um, the YPO. I think that's how you pronounce it, Valley, which you need four-wheel drive for both of those. Um, so there are kind of like re like particularities that you have to pay attention to when doing stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to put in my weekend banner. Duh, how'd you guys let me do that? <laughs> um, so we're gonna pick that up and I'm really excited for that. But other than that, like I know that there's a donut place that I wanna check out because a friend of mine was on the big island a few weeks ago before they PCS'd and she posted pictures of this donut shop and the donuts are like this big guys like I swear to you they're ginormous um so I definitely want to do that especially for my birthday um yeah so we're gonna do that and then other than that we're just kind of winging it we'll see what comes up um and how we're feeling let me see. I want to do like a big box for my birthday. Let's do the flowers because I like the flowers. Hibiscus is my favorite flower as well. I'll take what I can get when I can get it, but my all-time favorite flower is the hibiscus or peach roses. I don't know why peach. Um, my dad, when I was younger, used to buy me roses every once in a while for like special occasions, and he'd always get me the really pretty colored ones. So that became kind of my floral love, but the hibiscus is my all-time favorite. I want to get a hibiscus tattoo eventually, um, but I've told myself no other tattoos until I get my Harry Potter sleeve done because hashtag priorities. So we're going to go ahead and use this little cupcake icon from the kit to mark my birthday, and I'm also going to grab a... Another sticker from, if I can find them, and that's the only thing about like rearranging everything is now I have to like memorize the order in which everything is. I'm going to do it once more with love because I like this little bouquet gal and what she, what she's doing over here. So we're going to do that as well. I'm just going to put her down here in the corner. Well, I don't want her in the full box, maybe. There, she can go over a little bit. So that'll mark my birthday. And then we'll add another full box in there. And then we'll leave it as is after that, which I'm gonna use this kind of um, full box of the books with the drink beside it, because I think that that's really pretty. And I do plan on hopefully having drinks at the beach although to be honest it's raining right now um so i'm hoping that the weather holds up for that week too or that week next weekend because that would stink if it rained the whole time i don't know what the weather is like on the big island i know that when i went to Kauai with my sister-in-laws for a girl's trip it rained like the entire time we were there which they don't call it the garden state or the garden island for nothing is it the garden island i forget they call it something it's like the garden isle or something like that because it's the island that it rains there all of the time. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll let that go. So there's that. And we'll throw another glitter header in there just because we're going to separate it anyway. And then moving on over to this side of the week. I know I kind of did that backwards, but like I said, some of the days we know we have a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. Um, we have court this date, which is super exciting. Um, and then I have therapy this day, so I'm going to go ahead and mark those. So we'll do therapy here. Ooh, look at those two boxes together, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This kit, man, I'm telling ya. I hope you guys snag one. I feel like I wouldn't be a good PR gal. I didn't highly encourage you to get one of these before it's gone. It's just the perfect summer kit. Like, I get that it's pretty reading focused, but even still, like, you could, you could Frankenstein it if you really wanted to and just kind of pull out the beach stuff. Like, the books, yeah, but really just the other stuff itself. Like, all of the little pictures with the drinks and the beach scene and, like, look at that. 
That is so cute. And the full box for Wednesday, I'm going to put down here at the bottom because I've kind of been the rest of this time keeping the full boxes towards the top. And I do like to stagger them a little bit just so it's not the same thing like throughout. So we'll throw this one at the bottom and then I will fill in as we go. Because there's going to be some to-do stuff here, which I haven't been using my hobo, like I said I was going to, to put my to-do list in. So I'm sure there's going to be like some to-dos to get ready for our trip because we leave the next day. But we'll leave it. We'll leave it as is. And then we're going to mark court on this day because uh, life. Which can I just tell you guys, being almost 32 and I've been to court one time one time in my entire life and it was for child support from my ex-husband and it was like the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I have a problem with authority figures for some reason and this just having to talk to a judge freaked me out. And I know that it's not a huge deal and they're just people and they put their pants on the same way that we do and blah 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 but it freaks me out guys. Like I am not gonna lie it freaked me out and I and it was in my favor that time. Like, he didn't show up, so it wasn't a big deal. It was just like a quick bing, bang, boom. But now we're going in and we're actually going to have to, like, argue the person that's taking us to court, which is our previous renters from our home. And we're not on good terms with the property management company, so that's making it more stressful because we have to be on the same, like, defense side as that. It's just stressful, guys. Like, hashtag adult problems for real, because I don't know. I don't know how y'all do it. People that have to go to court all the time or have been to court all the time or I don't know. It just, it freaks me out. So I'm actually going to use an anxiety sticker for that one because I have been a major stress ball, like, the entire time. And, like, to the point that it's making me nauseous. You guys, if I'm not going to lie. So... Um, to keep it a hundred, as Gabriel Zamora would say. I don't know that it's going to go terrible, so I don't want to put, like, a terrible sticker in there. But, um, I thought I had one where he, she was, like, hiding in a little pillow cave. Maybe I don't. Unless I put it in the wrong section, but I thought I did. So we're going to use this little side eye guy down here to signify that. So we're going to use that little side eye guy right there because I feel like he's perfect and it's a big middle finger without writing a big middle finger in my planner because they can suck it. So we'll put in a full box after that because we don't even know how long that's going to take, which is super exciting. So there's that. Monday, I don't think that we even really have anything, to be honest. So I'm probably just going to leave that blank for now. I'll throw in the full box maybe at the top. But I don't know that we actually have anything for that right now. Because um, we don't, Mondays are typically not a busy day for us. Like they're busy in the sense that it's Monday and it's usually nuts. But um, they're not like busy in the fact that we're doing stuff so there's that um so I'm probably just going to throw the full box up top and then I'll leave it blank until I have something to write in there it's probably going to be more like I said trip prep so there's that And I'm actually going to use another sticker here because I totally forgot um, dropping our youngest off with a friend while we go to court. Um, and I do have these cute little drop-off stickers from Once More With Love that I haven't used a ton yet. Um, so we're going to do that. Let's see. You know what? I'm curious. Let's see. Yeah, so we're actually going to layer this because I like this plain full box. Right? Well, it's not a full box. It's a half box, I guess. But we're actually going to use this. I'm going to throw this down first and then put one of these small, 
kind of quarter box oval things. I don't know the names, guys. I'm sorry. I know the shop owners got all them down, but I don't know them yet. We're going to use this orange color. We're going to throw that right in the middle, hopefully straight-ish. Yep, that is good. We will do that. There, that turned out super cute. Which hopefully we don't have to have her pick up our kids too, but we'll see. See how it goes. And sometimes the color just isn't as thought out because now I have two blue glitter headers beside each other, but we don't care, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so. You know what, and we're just going to go ahead and throw down that to-do list on on Wednesday because I know that I'm going to have a bunch of stuff that needs done and I'm not going to fight making the list in here because it's going to help me keep my thoughts organized. So we're just going to go ahead and throw that in here for now um, because I know that I'm going to need it. So. We're just going to do it. And I'm going to actually use a heart checklist for this one. And we will go with the orange because there's a lot of pink and teal there already. There we go. And then we'll throw another teal down here to kind of break that up. There we go. Take up some more space. Hashtag white, no white space planning problems in an hourly. Now I'm going to go ahead and write in the things that I know that we have to do. Um, I think that I'm probably just going to stick, I don't know, I want to try the purple pen and I want to try the pink pen, but I want to do the blue too, but I feel like the blue and the pink are in the kit, so maybe I should stay away from those. So I think I'm going to do the purple because it's complimentary, and I know that is a lot of decisiveness with a pen, but we're going to do it. Yeah, I like the purple. Which the only thing that I forgot to do now that I think about it is my little um, daily habit trackers. I forgot to add my little my little icons on there so let me go ahead and go back and do that this is why it's called a hot mess plan with me y'all because it's a hot mess so we're gonna add this books with coffee one we're gonna do it here Sorry, I know you can't see that very well, but I wrote read for 30 minutes, and then I think I looked for a face mask type. Yeah, I didn't have that before. So we're going to use this little sheet from the Coffee Monsters Co. called Relax, and I'm just going to use the little face mask one, but I'm going to put wash your face because I do typically do like a sleep mask um, at night before I go to bed, which I use um, Youth to the People. If you guys are looking for a great skincare line, I highly recommend it. Um, it's vegan ingredients. They don't do animal testing. It's like all natural. So it's a lot of like kale, spinach, super greens that are really good for your skin. And I absolutely love it. So I'm going to write wash your face. Okay guys, so that is what the spread is going to look like for now. Like I said, this is pre-planning, so it's not all filled out. I know some people like to see the full spread in the videos, but that's just not the way I do it, y'all. My life is not that together yet. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a favor, do me a favor and go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can get some more videos up for you guys and you'll get the notifications for those. I hope you guys go pick up this kit. 
I can't quit raving about it. I really think it's phenomenal and I think that you'll absolutely adore it as much as I do. Um, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you next time. Bye!